Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now in this tutorial, we're going to make a portal gun, and I'll be playing around. Well, we're going to make the beginnings of a portal gun. It's functional and everything, but I'll show you in a second. Okay, let's just go to the inventory, get the gun, and what I set it up to do is shoot these two portals. The first one the beginning portal second one the end portal and that's all it does basically just that now the reason I say it's the beginnings of a portal gun is because there are some some issues I want to fix the first one is hold up let me see it. shoot this portal over here and shoot that one right there and you can already see how the portal appears now it still works but it's just how it looks and the next one is the render textures now this is just a matter of setting up the render textures and how they work because I want to actually see where I'm going where the portals at on top of the uh, portal texture and that's really all I gotta fix now originally I had these portals set up to be uh, bi-directional so you could jump in and this one right here and end up in that one but there were some problems it was causing so I've just set it up this way and if you shoot another bullet it will destroy the old portal or old portals and create a new one uh, clicked off screen for a second Eh, that's basically it. I was just playing around with it and I created a, a simple portal gun. Uh, let's take a look at the script. Well, yeah, the scripts. Okay, first one, we just modified the shooting a little bit to hold the begin portal and the end portal. And then if we do have a begin portal and the end portal and we shoot another bullet, it just destroys the, uh, the old portals. Then we have the actual bullet controller, and this is how the gun tells whether it's uh, shooting a portal bullet or a regular bullet. And in here we just put the simple var is a portal gun, which means do we want to shoot a portal gun bullet or do we want to shoot a regular bullet. Then we have the actual portal prefab. That, uh, that's the portal prefab we want to instantiate uh, once we shoot the bullet, if it is a portal gun. And hold up. Update function. Oh, here on the trigger, we now differentiate is it a portal gun bullet or a regular uh, bullet? And if it's a regular bullet, it just does uh, to damage the enemy and destroys itself afterwards. But if it's a portal bullet, it creates the first portal and then tells the uh, shooting script that we have indeed created the first portal. And then after that, it, hold on. yeah, it gives the uh, shooting script the first portal and destroys the bullet. And then that's if we're shooting uh, the first portal and then the next portal is going to shoot it's going to create the second portal tell it we created the eight uh, the end end of the portal and then uh, connect the portals together by points and that's it for the bullet controller and then we have the actual portal bullet that's uh, that's on the portal we want to create and we have the end point which is the point we want to teleport to we have the first portal because if the, if this is the second portal we need to know where the first portal is and then we uh, have a variable telling us is it the begin portal or the end portal and then we have this uh, variable down here did we did we get the uh, did we get the end portal point because we don't want to uh, keep calling a function to give the end portal point because it will it'll just uh, be unnecessary and uh, mess up the performance now on the on trigger stay function we basically say if we are the player or NPC and this is the begin point and then we get uh, did get the end point that uh, send the player to the uh, next portal which is basically if you jump on the first portal this sends you to the second portal and the reason we have this uh, gave end point thing is is because the uh, end point originally starts at zero 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 so if I create a portal and then I just jumped on it without this variable being here it will uh, put you to the middle of the world so we just want to uh, find out did we get the endpoint yet or not and then we say on this on trigger enter if this is the endpoint of the portal 
we want the portal bullet to hit something to create the portal at that point and this that's what it does it basically hits something and when it uh, when it hits something on the trigger it just gives the endpoint I mean uh, it gives the beginning portal the endpoint and then say we did indeed give the beginning portal the endpoint allowing the beginning portal to teleport you and that's it for the coding now let's go to the setup now the setup is pretty simple I just created a simple box here to serve as the portal and your game you would obviously want to create something a little more uh, better looking but the important thing about it the portal needs a rigid body for one and set the rigid body gravity to uh, to none because you don't want the portals falling down out the air because they're not supposed to be physical objects we just use the rigid body for uh, to get collision information then I've got this uh, box collider which I've just set to on trigger so we can receive triggers instead of collisions and then I put the portal script uh, portal bullet script on it and you don't need to set, you don't need to set anything up just uh, throw a script on that's it then in the bullet at uh, the actual bullet prefab this is the bullet that creates the portal and I've just thrown this uh, bullet controller script on it I've, I've gone over this before many times so you can just look at my other tutorials and see how we set up the bullet just to fire regularly but uh, it just has the, uh, the rigid body of course check the gravity uh, use gravity to zero I mean uh, none then it has the bullet controller and the box collider which is set the trigger and there's nothing else really special about it oh, that, except we have this bullet controller and if you want to shoot a portal bullet we just check this variable right here is the portal gun and it'll shoot a portal bullet instead of a regular bullet and I believe that's it for the setup let me see if I got it working and that's basically it it still needs some work but the beginning is there so a simple portal gun and if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to suggest a tutorial please suggest a tutorial in the comments down below thank you for watching